Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to upload financial plan data in the SAP s system. I'm here in the Fiori Launchpad and we will navigate to the application called Import Financial Plan Data. Select this application. Just a quick remark before we start. Click on your user icon and on the About section and here you can see I'm talking about the application called F1711. If you can't see this application, then this means that you do not have the user role assigned to your user where this application is stored. You can check this via the Fiori Reference Apps Library. Now you can see here a simple start screen. We can click on Download Templates. And over here, first of all, we can select how the file that we will download in a second should look like. So whether it should be separated by a semicolon, comma, period or vertical bar. We will leave it as is for now. Then you can see here a toggle bar to decide whether we want to utilize so-called global field names in our CSV files. Normally I do not select this one, but I will show you the difference in a second. For now we will leave it to no, and then you can decide which template you want to download. So as you can see, you can upload many different plan data. We will now take the cost center planning as an example. So click on this one. You can see a download folder opened and we can save the template. Now before we open the template, just a quick remark. Let's close this one over here. I always advise you to go to this question mark over here and then click on what's this application. Then you are forwarded, as you can see, to the Zaphel portal. And there is many more stuff explained about this application because it's particularly important to know the structure of the templates. But I will show you this now with my demo. So let's go back over here. And now let's actually open the Excel file. And that's it, here you can see now the Excel file. Let me actually centralize this a bit to make it more visible for you. And before we start, just a comparison. If we would have set the indicator for the global values to on, then it would look as follows. It looks like this. And now you can see the difference is here in the first row, because if we set the global values to on, then the headers are displayed in a, let's say, more user-friendly way in comparison to what you can see here in the background. Here, the technical field names are being displayed. However, from my point of view, this is quite unnecessary because in the second row, you can still see what the different fields mean. Okay, let's close this one. And now let's focus on our template. You can see some of the columns over here are marked with an X. So this means that this data would be mandatory. And also, please do not delete this X over here, but start from the row below this one. I will now first show you the wrong way, so you can see what happens if we try to upload this file. So let me actually put in some values over here. The plan category, we will say budget 01. And please be aware that this plan category must exist in your system. You can ask your SAP consultants, because this is defined in the customizing. I will just show you where it is. So in the customizing here in the backend system, under controlling, general controlling, then under planning, and here you have it maintain category for planning. If I select this one, you can also find budget 01 over here. So it must be defined in this table. Then we have the fiscal year we want to post the values to, let's say 2024, the posting period 11 in my example, then the company code, we insert our cost center, an account number, an amount, and the global currency. For now, let me say Euro, because I want to show you another error message as well. Okay, we will save this one. Now let's close the Excel file and try to upload it. Going back into our application, we will click on Browse CSV Files, then select the file and open. And now you can see an error message. Sorry, you cannot import this file. It contains invalid data. Let's click on Show Details. And here you can see there is no plan scope defined in the CSV file. We can even click on this message. And then SAP provides us many more information on how this file should actually look like. So in the end, this is a summary of the information stored in the Zapel portal that I have shown you a minute before. So this is fine and the reason for that is for sure that we did not mark our columns with the X symbol. So let's actually go back into our file. Let's select this whole line, copy it down, and then we will insert here an X. Let's just copy it like that and save, and that's it. Now in our application, we go back and reload the application. Now we click on Browse CSV files again, select the file and open. And now you can see the first step is done. So the data is ready for import. As said, this is the first check. So this means that here the system checks if all the required information is available. However, the values itself, so whether for instance the fiscal year is correct, the cost center is correct and so on, 
This is not checked by the system in the first step. Here you can see it says your plan data import will incorporate one lines from the CSV file. For more information, we can click on the preview list. Let's click on this one. And here we can see the data that will be imported. Let's go back. And now quite importantly, we will first click on test import source file. Now the system will validate if the data we inserted is actually correct. And you can see, sorry, we cannot import this file. Click on show details. And now the system lists all the errors. In this case, we set the controlling area currency to Euro, but it is in US dollar. So in the end, we need to go back and then we go into our template again. And here we change Euro to US dollar, save. Go back into the application. We will reload the application, click on browse CSV files. And now we will select our template and open again. Now the first step is confirmed. Now let's click on test import source file. We can see that the test import of the plan data was successful. Now we can actually post the plan values to the system. We can either do it in the online processing or in the background. If you have a large file, I would always suggest you to select background processing and then click on import source file. As you can see, a message appears that our import was submitted using background processing. And we can check the status of our import if we jump to the application called display financial plan data jobs. So click on this and here we can see the finished job with a log. We can actually click on this one and then see that the plan data was posted successfully. If there would be any errors, then they would be listed over here as well. So last but not least, let's see where we can actually inspect the plan values. Since we planned for cost centers, I will just type in cost center over here. Let's hit on go, click on applications. And here we can, for instance, utilize the application called cost center plan actual. Let's click on this one. We are forwarded into the detailed screen. Here we select our plan category. So budget 01, our company code. And then let's actually click on go. Then we select the cost center column over here. Right click, filter, select filter value. We will select our cost center 1010-1601. Hit on OK. And here, if we expand the view a bit, let's just click on this one. And then let's actually maximize over here. You can see we planned on this GL account. And here you can see the value already converted into the company code currency. So our 10,000 were converted in 10,500. And you can see the plan amount column is filled. For sure, this depends on what kind of data you are importing. So if you are importing profit center plan values, then you would utilize another application. Okay, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.